Hello, wonderful family. Another glorious day and another beautiful opportunity to share the word with you. Hallelujah. Praise God. I want to use this analogy that I use many a times. It might be vulgar or colloquial to a lot of folk, but I don't I don't I don't mean it to be that way, but I'm I'm using it as a description. For, for for ease of understanding. Because remember when our Lord Jesus Christ was on earth, he didn't uh, give analogies that were out of touch with those around him. His words connected with the common folk. Everybody around could understand what he was saying. Now, basically what I want to talk about is that gift that was left behind for us or given to us to use in our daily life here on earth as Christians, and that is the name of Jesus. In the book of uh, John chapter 16, I think that's in verse 24, no, 25, praise God. The, the, the Living Bible renders it that um, if you ask, it says that ask in my name, ask the Father in my name and he will give it to you. But it also now says that uh, he that have you asked nothing in my name, ask that you may receive, that your joy may be full. Then he says that I am not saying that I will ask the Father for you. It's basically implying that you can come to the Father and ask in my name and he will give it to you. But the Living Bible, the way it, it puts it, it says that you would ask that it's like my with as if my there's a, a, a document, a check written out. A blank check with my name written on it. Now, to bring it into the, the four where we are, his name with you is like, um, praise God, where this word I say might sound uh, vulgar or colloquial, where his, his name is like a bank card, an ATM card. Whoever takes that ATM card and has the PIN of that ATM card can go, as let's assume I give you my ATM card to go to my bank or to go to any bank to make a withdrawal. As long as there's money in my account and I gave you my PIN, if you stick in that ATM card into the cash machine, and request for a withdrawal, put in the right pin. That ATM uh, machine will deal with your request, oblivious of who is making that request, assuming to all intents and purposes that I am the one transacting. So when you come to the Father in prayer, in the name of Jesus, it is taken as if it is Jesus that is making that request. He's not seeing, he's not looking at you as you. He's looking at you through the eyes of Christ. He's taking it that he is carrying out a request for Jesus. A request made by Jesus. And he will not deny Jesus because Jesus was perfect. You, you, you are not perfect. So if he has to... Um, do things based on your activity. You won't get nothing. But he's so gracious that he chose, or he chose or he chooses to deal with you as if it is Jesus he's dealing with. So when you present the name of Jesus, you are, make, you are subjecting yourself to the Lordship of Jesus and making that request. In the courts of heaven, it is looked at as if Jesus has made that request. And it is guaranteed. First of all, you know that, quote and unquote, his resources are limitless. So you cannot out demand him because he, he can meet every request. And then you come with the right pin, the right attitude. You are born again. You make a request in accordance with his word. That quote-unquote, ATM machine will dispense your request as if it is Jesus who made that request. 
So don't feel I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. You can never be worthy enough. But the name of Jesus is what makes you worthy. That brings you into the presence to make demands and get those demands answered. That's why I said come boldly to the throne of grace. Normally as a human being, how can you be bold before God? But he's telling you come boldly to the throne of grace because Jesus' death, burial, and resurrection cleansed you from all filth so that your appearance there, you're not appearing as an enemy. You're appearing there as one washed with the blood. So he's seen Jesus in you. And he's honor bound to do as he said in his word. As if it's Jesus who asked him for those things. God bless you. Hallelujah.